Gotta go, boy. What do you want, boy? This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well, looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Yep.
Here. Hey, boy. Plantation workers only. Get out. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. We keep going now. We shot folks for less than not keeping the warning. <laughs> Intruder on the property. Someone's sneaking on the property. We don't let folk wander through this property. Get out. Hey, hey, I'm just a tourist. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages or... I don't know, cave people, perhaps. 
Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> hey, you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Come on, you can do it. Hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> Well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Come on, then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? we only been down here all of five minutes. Get some zip in them britches. Let's go. It'll take more. Mad boy. <laughs> wow, you boys went off fit. You're playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is you scoped here, <sighs> exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around. work. <laughs>
just said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid! And we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So, you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! There's a whole lot of them back there. Do not let them get away. Light us up, boys. Get rid of these sons of bitches. Well, nice going, Uncle. Most guarded wagon in goddamn history. How will I know? Come on, Arthur. Wait for the sons of bitches. Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I ain't in there. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... 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 Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't... Uh, maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Well, the 
place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Place looks. God damn it, Arthur! What was that? Let fly at them, boys! Mr. Cornwall ain't gonna be happy about this. No. Bastard! Get 
the hell off me! Arthur! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Oh, just stand there, why don't you? I'm making an old man suffer. Yeah, just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. You ain't got no right. 